start before the beginning of time. With no point of reference, he spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of life. And as you To the online virtual worship experience of the Metropolitan AME Zion Church here in Hartford, Connecticut, where when you come our way, you make our day. This is the day the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it as we join together in singing our morning hymn, number 68 in our hymnal, Sing Praise to God who reigns above. And after that singing, young brother Jaden Loveless will lead us 
in our affirmation of faith. Let's sing unto the Lord this song. Morning church. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is one true church, apostolic and universal, whose holy faith let us now reverently and sincerely declare the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born on the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Here at Metropolitan, we try to make sure our services are kept alive and kept diverse. Each week we have a spiritual offering and or an anthem for your worship enjoyment. Today we have elected to use a spiritual that's offered by Fisk Jubilee Singers arranged by Moses Hogan entitled, I'm going to sing till the spirit moves. And after that singing, Dr. Childs will read the lesson from God's word for today.
I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till Jesus comes. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till the spirit moves in my heart. I'm gonna sing till
not just on a blessing here, blessing there, who we'll fix this, work this out, but we like to center our attention on God, God's self. We like to do what Sister Mary Jolie of Lagos, Nigeria will share with us this morning in our centering moment. We like to be like the deer that panted after the water broke to let our souls long after thee, O God. And so let's be blessed in the enjoying of that centering moment as she sings and then let's pray as Reverend Norman will lead us. my Metropolitan Church family and our guests and all of God's children this morning. Most gracious eternal God, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. 
You knew our coming and our going before you formed us in our mother's wombs. You know the hairs on our head, Lord. And for that, we say thank you. Because in spite of what the journey looks like or the obstacles that we face, we know that we are in your care. And you haven't brought us this far to leave us. But your word does say we can be blessed. But first we must seek ye the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto us. We thank you first and foremost for the week that you've given us. And likewise for today. For God, tomorrow is not guaranteed, so we thank you right now for today. This moment, this time, this day. This worship service, the opportunity to come before you, just to praise you, glorify you, and magnify your holy name. Father, the journey is tough. There's a lot going on. But we do realize we are all sinners saved by grace and that we get from you along with your mercy but right now the way things are going God I seek your favor for it's greater than the grace and the mercy because no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that's because you created us you made us who we are and we ask that right now you continue to guide us, keep us, give us your wisdom, that decisions that we make might be pleasing in thy sight. Right now there's so many suffering, Lord, with medical conditions. They're even asking at the last moment if they can have what they could have had for the last six months. But it's a time where it's too far gone, God. And the only thing that can help us right now is you. For we think we understand what's going on, but yet and still we see what's really happening. Thank God that we walk by faith and not by sight, knowing that you know all things and you will do all things except fail. We just have to keep putting one foot in front of the other and press our way. No matter how hard it is, no matter how tough it gets, just keep pushing forward. We can't look back. For looking back causes you to lose your future. We ask that you bless our church family, our individual families, and all that we encompass, Lord. Continue to keep us as you have. And this morning there'll be a word for whoever brings that word, Lord, touch them, anoint them, that it might be a word that thy people can hear and receive and be made to feel well. I ask you right now to bless our pastor, the leadership, the laity, the ministerial staff, all of our families. As we're all right now struggling, Lord, not being able to physically be where we used to be. But I declare today that the God you are is great enough and big enough that it will happen, but not until you say so. Now, as we get ready to go in to the word, bless thy people, Lord, that we might hear what saith the Lord. And when you do, we will be sure to make sure we give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. I ask this in the name, above all names, Jesus the Christ, your son. We pray. Amen. Oh, my.
desire and I long to worship you and I long to worship you and I long to Thank you so much, Brother Norman. Beloved, grab your Bibles, get ready for the Word, and after the sermonic selection, that's when you bless me, we'll hear the Word of God. This is offered today to us by Greater Community Church of God in Christ, Marietta, Georgia. Let's be blessed by the singing, and then let's delve into the Word. Amen.
how good it is to be here on another Lord's Day and to share with you that God is good. I'm grateful for the opportunity again of coming before you in the quiet of your home, your personal sanctuary, if you will, to declare what thus saith the Lord. Let me thank Dr. Childs for her reading of the word earlier in our service taken from that passage of scripture that's found in Genesis 32. I would that you would hear it now from Genesis 32 verses 24 through 30 and I'm reading this morning for emphasis from the translation that the Lord has allowed called the Message Remix. And here is what it says. But Jacob stayed behind by himself, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. And when the man saw that he couldn't get the best of Jacob as they wrestled, he deliberately threw Jacob's hip out of joint. The man said, let me go. It's about daybreak. But Jacob said, I'm not letting you go till you bless me. The man said, what's your name? And he answered, Jacob. And the man said, but no longer. Your name is no longer Jacob. From now on, it's Israel which interpretively means God wrestler. For you've wrestled with God and you've come through. Jacob asked, and what is your name? And the man said, why do you want to know my name? And then, right then and there, he blessed Jacob. And Jacob named the place Peniel because he said, I saw God face to face and I've lived to tell the story. Let us pray. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life anew that I may love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Speak now, Lord, your servant heareth. You get every ounce of the glory for it all belongs to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and we pray. Amen. And beloved, this morning from this particular passage of scripture, I want you to think with me from the subject, when God blesses. When God blesses. In the course of life and living, beloved, we must oftentimes be assured that the redemptive hand of God is always operative in our human existence. I need to share with you for a moment what every twice-born, blood-bought child of God ought to know. And that is that God is still on the throne. And whether we know it or not, he's still got the whole world in his hands. If you don't mind, I need to share with us a thought or two on this idea of God's actions, God's involvement, God's personal hands-on experience with our human condition. Many times life brings us to situations where we seem to be pushed on the losing side. We look back over our lives and if we are honest with ourselves, we wish we had made sometimes a different decision. We wish we had altered our course earlier. We wish we had turned different, done a different thing, hung with different people, 
But here we are, and regardless to our station in life, stop by to tell you emphatically and unapologetically that God is not through with us yet. I wish I had a witness. Some of us are in different crossroads in life. But I'm here to tell you that God is with you in every situation and if we'll let him. The Bible declares, Proverbs 3, 6, that if we will in all of our ways acknowledge him, he will direct our path. But here's the deal. You got to know the deal. Sometimes God takes us back to the very place, to the very point in the journey, and sometimes even to the very people that we messed up with to help us realize that God is not in the half fixing of things. God is in the full restoration of life and that more abundantly. Nowhere in the sacred scripture is this more vividly displayed than in the ongoing saga of Jacob there in the book of Genesis. I wish I had time to tell you the whole story of Jacob, but you remember from your Bible studies that Jacob had been some kind of brother. Amen, somebody. Jacob had stolen and cheated his brother Esau out of his birthright, among other unscrupulous dealings throughout his journey. Jacob, y'all, was something. And all of us who have lived a while have known, I'm sure, some Jacobs. To say the least, he hadn't crossed every T nor dotted every eye. Jacob was something. Jacob had been a trickster and a slickster and had taken advantage of every opportunity to get ahead in life, to be first, to be the best, to have the most, to get away with the most. And it seemed that Jacob was getting along pretty good, y'all. always have to be on the lookout for but. That's that small word that usually signals a deal breaker. But that small word that makes a big difference. One day God sends to Jacob a message that would be a life-altering message. That's right, you remember it. He says to Jacob, go back to the land of your fathers and to your relatives and I will be with you. Yes, this comes on the heel of his falling out with his father-in-law Laban after having served for 20 years. But yet, this relationship fell into disrepair and Jacob, fearing for his life, fearing for his own personal destruction, wondering what to do. And yes, the God of his fathers sends him back to his native land, his father's land to his relatives, and what a message that must have been. But the message was blessed, because the message was blessed with those five operative words, I will be with you. Now, beloved, I don't know about you, but the, real, the mere fact that God promises I will be with you can open some doors that no man can shut. The mere utterance, I 
will be with you can help you overcome that which has overtaken you. The mere promise of I will be with you can remind us that wherever we are, God is. There's much to be said about a journey, a destiny, a challenge, a hard place, and making it through it with the full assurance of that thought. I will be with you. Have you ever had an I will be with you revelatory moment? When you have it, you can go through anything knowing and trusting God, I will be with you. Bad diagnosis, downturn in the economy, upturn in racial prejudice and partisan bigotry, crumbling marriage, family disruption, pandemic, epidemic, foolishness on every hand. You can make it if you can just rest on the promise of those five words. I will be with you. Well, when we look at Jacob's, Jacob's story, we see that Jacob has a challenge before him. Because not only must he go back into a place where he messed up, not only must he go back into the land where I'm sure the word was, how he left was not the best. But the promise overarching, I will be with you, assures Jacob that it will be all right. God sends us into sometime challenging circumstances to help us to understand not only who God is, but help us to get a better understanding of who we are. And then to help us to really, really get a greater uh, understanding of the enemy or of the battle that we are in. You see, ultimately, we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, but with principalities, with powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So there you have it, beloved Jacob, is sent back home. With only the promise, I'll be with you. And so that's where our text picks up this morning. Jacob is on his way with the promise, I'll be with you. And the Bible says that he had just crossed the brook Jabbok, sent his family and his maid servants and manservant on ahead and there he abode by himself and there he is by himself or so it seems but all of a sudden Jacob hears a rustling in the water and out of nowhere there appears what looks to be a man. Can you imagine sending all your people on ahead, being by yourself some, for some quiet, from some, for some solitude, and all of a sudden this figure appears. I can imagine that Jacob may have thought that it was Esau had overtaken him, but didn't look like Esau, didn't walk like Esau. Finally, he discovered it wasn't Esau, it was a man. And he and that man, you know the story, got into a wrestling match that's unparalleled in the life of Jacob. And in fact, it's 
parallels in all of our lives that when we realize that in order to enjoy the benefits and blessings of real renewal, we must strive after God. We, we've got to fight if we are to win the battle over hell, death, and destruction. But the fight is made better because we have the right teammate. We've got the great I am on our side. The one who was, and when was, is no more, he still is. And when is no longer exists, he will be. From everlasting to everlasting, he is God. The message remix says that Jacob, and in some translations call this man an angel, God. Jacob and this angel, God. Jacob and this angel, did you find? Jacob and this angel, God. Wrestle all night long. And just about day, the angel said, okay, I've had enough. Let me go. It's about to be day, but I hear Jacob. Jacob had been struggling, striving, trying to understand it all, but he had persisted. But yet, nothing yet, nothing yet had happened to him. So Jacob said to himself, no, I'm not going through all this and not get something out of it. So Jacob's declaratory judgment was, I'll not let you go until you bless me. Beloved, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could come to church and say, I'm not leaving till I get my blessing. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could do like the old folk used to say, I prayed and I prayed, I prayed all night long, I prayed and I prayed until I, wouldn't it be a blessing if folk didn't just have a casual encounter, but had a full-blown uh, head-on collision with God and made a declaratory statement to God. God, please don't turn me loose until you bless me. That was Jacob's, that was Jacob's stance. Don't let me go till you bless me. I know you're going to let me go eventually. Just don't do it yet until you bless me. But love, life becomes better when we strive after the right thing. It's all right to strive after career and money and he and she and house and land and all that kind of thing, but we get life better. We enjoy life more abundantly when we learn to strive after God. I like Jacob's story because Jacob says, <laughs> don't turn me loose and I'm not going to turn you loose until you bless me. The angel said, what's your name? And Jacob said, my name is Jacob. You know my name. You got to know my name. You've been struggling with me all night. You got to know who I am. But the angel, God, the divine, says no more. Jacob will no longer be your name. But your name will be Israel. I'm giving you a new name. Jacob in turn looked at the angel and said, what's your name? The angel, God, the divine, says, why, why do you need to know my name? 
And then the remix says it was right then and right there. I like how that says it, plain, that Jacob was blessed. Well, let me quickly cut across the field here and tell you the moral of what I'm trying to share with you this morning. That when God blesses, God has a way of giving to us at least three things right there in that blessing process. First thing Jacob got that day was a new determination. Jacob's determination now was to get a hold of not something good, but get a hold of what was best. He said, no, no, don't let me go till you bless me. Up until this point in Jacob's life, he thought he had all the strength, all the ability. He thought he had all of what he needed to achieve his own ends. But for this night, Jacob was running the show. But now he realizes that with God, without God, he's nothing. Before he used his wits to deceive Esau and trick Isaac. Now he's learning the great lesson from Zechariah that is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Jacob is determined, my brothers and sisters, that this man should bless him. You see, somewhere during the long hours of fruitless wrestling, Jacob realized that this man was no mere man. He was really the angel of the Lord. And that's the same thing as wrestling with God himself. He's holding on for dear life. If he can't win the fight, not going to give up the fight until he gets a blessing. Y'all, Jacob got a new determination that day. A new passion. I need God. You can have all this world but I need God God has something greater to offer you when you surrender your life to God God is going to give you a new passion to succeed a new passion to be used for his glory a new determination but secondly not only did Jacob get a new determination I want you all to know that Jacob got a new revelation. Now watch this. It's a new revelation of his own fallacies, his own folly, his own foolishness. It's right there in Genesis 32, 27. Here's what it says. The man asked him, what is your name? And Jacob, he answered. This was the turning point in Jacob's life. Why did this man ask his name? Didn't he know who Jacob was? Yes, of course he did. Question is, Jacob, do you know who you are? You see, the name Jacob means heel grabber, cheater, deceiver, supplanter. That's who he was. But when the angel says, what's your name? He's really asking, are you ready to admit who you are? Are you ready to confess the deep truth about yourself? See, sometimes, beloved, we'll get real busy trying to discover and discern and distribute information on who others are. But we don't really get the blessings of a lifetime until we discover ourselves. It's always hard to do. It's always a challenge. But all oh, that prophet Shakespeare says, to thine own self be true, for it is night follow day. If thou canst be true to yourself, you can in no wise be false to anyone else. Isaiah later had that vision in the temple with King, when King Uzziah died. Isaiah said, I saw also the Lord 
Isaiah even saw himself. I'm a man who lives among people of unclean lips, and yes, even my lips are unclean, but mine eyes have seen the Lord, the King, the Lord of hosts. Beloved, Jacob got a new revelation that day, not just the revelation of the man, God, the angel, but Jacob got a new revelation of Jacob. Jacob got a revelation of his own, his own shortcomings, his own waywardness. And beloved, that's good material for repentance. That's a wonderful, wonderful launching pad for a beautiful new life when we come into realization of who we are. But finally, and I'm done, Jacob gets a new identification. You see, God changes his name. He says, oh yes, your name is Jacob, but from this point on, it'll no longer be Jacob, it'll be Israel. God gives Jacob a new identity. He gives him a new identification card. He gives him the kind of identity now that is connected, watch this, not with the old man, but is connected with the new. When God blesses, he gives us new determination. He gives us a new revelation. And yes, he gives us a new identification. I wish I had time to tell you all that story. You remember, knocked his hip out and Jacob went through life with a limp. He had a limp, but it wasn't a loser's limp. It was a winner's limp because every time Jacob walked and he limped, if anybody asked what happened to you, Jacob could tell him, he touched me. Oh yes, he touched me. And all the joy that filled my soul, something happened. And now I know he touched me and he made me whole. Beloved, I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that God, the angel, the divine, is still blessing. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, amen. God's word for God's people, God's timing, God's truth. Beloved, today if you've heard that word and God has spoken to you, maybe you heard that word and like Jacob, you've got a new determination. You've had a new revelation. And yes, you want a new identification. God is able to give it to you today. I hope that you'll get up with us. There on the screen, you'll see ways to do it. Our number, 860-527-7087. Our email address. Perhaps you know one of our members and you want to call them um, to help pray with you or to get up with a ministerial team member. We'll be so delighted to talk with you, to pray with you, and help you as we walk this journey together for our God. Right now, I want to start this prayer chain as I pray with you right now. Lord, we thank you for our brother, our sister, our son, our daughter. We thank you for our mother, our father, our friend, our associate. We thank you for those who have heard your word today and have decided to make you their choice. We thank you for those who heard your word and already know you, but realize it's time to strengthen their walk and their relationship. We pray right now in this prayer that this will be the first moment of a brand new existence, brand new experience, walking with you as you walk with us. 
So bless now in the name of Jesus and help each of us to help each other as we walk and not get weary, knowing that we walk not alone. Bless us now and keep us, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. I'll be looking to hear from you. God bless. It's giving time here at the Metropolitan Church, and we get excited when we have the opportunity to give because we realize giving is the best way we can copy God who loved us so much that he gave. And so you know by now there's several ways of giving through the ministry here at Metropolitan. You, you'll find them on the screen. You can go old school like Pastor Doug. Write that check. Put that check in the envelope. Put that check in the mail if you'd like to our secured P.O. box. We'll get it. Maybe you want to write that check. Put it in that envelope. Drop it to, through the secure mail slot at the church office where our office staff and uh, stewards are checking daily to retrieve your offering. Maybe you want to use one of the online electronic portals that we have set up. Give Plus or Cash App. That information will be on the screen as well. Or maybe you want to give a call to the church office and ask that one of the stewards, a trustee, would stop by and pick up your gift and give it to the church on your behalf. Whatever way you choose to give, I hope you choose to give. And as we are giving this morning, the Chicago Mass reminds us that we ought to be in the praising business as they share. You hear it in the background, I'm going to praise the Lord. Come on, let's enjoy the music and let's give. Thank you so much for your giving, my friends. Let me share with you quickly that there are a number of announcements that will be scrolling at the end of the service. 
I hope you'll stay on, stay tuned, so that you will take note of those things that will affect us in the days and weeks ahead. Let me uh, remind our re-engagement team that we will meet on Tuesday of this week at 6.30. We are praying and ardently working toward our re-engagement of in-person services. You know the challenge that is before us. We want to do it safely. We want to do it sanely. We need you to covet, covenant with us in prayer that the decisions that will be made will be for the best for our congregation. I want to thank Brother TJ and the tech team, Brother Kevin, and those who are working together to really upgrade our system so that we'll be able to bring our in-person services to you virtually. This is for the blessing of those persons who are away from Hartford or those who are sick and shut in. We hope when we do re-engage that our members who can will be back in the sanctuary. There'll be more details coming as we move along, but I hope you'll be a part of that process and of that planning. I thank those who have made extra contributions because you realize the cost for what we've got to take on will be hmm, a little bit of a challenge, but with all of us pitching in and helping, God will bless us and that right early. I thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you will do and pray that you will be a part of everything that's going on here at Metropolitan. Thank you so much for just being you. God bless you. We've heard the word, heard scripture read. We've enjoyed the wonderful music. We've been blessed by your presence. God has spoken. Let the church say amen as we prepare to go and then our benediction. and God the Holy Ghost be with us and remain with us always. Amen.